Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Endzone of World Apart. Now hopefully this one is going to be a bit shorter than the initial one where we went over the overall tutorial in order to learn all the in-game mechanics. Now, to be honest, it's been god knows how long since I actually played the tutorial, so I'm not even sure if I recall everything which we went over there. And Overall, the, the episode for just that initial tutorial was like two and a half hours long, so uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna definitely try to separate it, and we're gonna go with a brand new game, and I'm gonna try to do the survival mode in order to see what to expect. I'm not really sure what can I adjust here or what sort of stuff can I expect. I do want a large map. Number of mountains, well, we will require them in order to get access to certain resources. Number of lakes, high, that's beneficial. If we go with medium, it might be a bit more problematic with managing of water. And number of force high, we can do that. What would happen if we would go back and change it to like, the setting for the game mode has been changed. When the game mode is changed, all settings chosen will be reset. Okay, so normal. Play a very well balanced, but equally challenging game around using neutral settings. So we have large map, we have medium mountains, we have medium lakes, we have number of forests at medium, number of ruins at medium, and free area around starting point is medium. So we're gonna have to clear out some stuff, and we're gonna see how it's gonna work out. Uh, we actually do have a seed, we can totally randomize this. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I will like something which is gonna pop in. I do want a nice source of water and a mountain this is actually a pretty damn decent source of water so we might be able to build a jetty there initially eventually we're gonna switch to other sources of obtaining water now it actually is kind of uh, similar to other games where i have noticed if you build these sort of rts games usually at the starting conditions you have these good conditions so you don't have like let's say the sandstorms uh, too much radiations and other stuff like that. So if you use things like the rain catchers, you're able to use the water from the rain, but later on they are extremely unreliable as you can have light toxicity, medium toxicity, high toxicity, or radiation. You can have all sorts of weird conditions, so certain structures and buildings become completely unusable. I'm not sure how I feel about this, this, or... I'm just gonna have to click a couple of times and once I think like, yeah, that's the one for me, um, I'm gonna stick with it and I'm gonna stop changing it so constantly. Okay, this seems pretty interesting. We're gonna have a decent area to work with. We have a smaller body of water, a larger body of water, so we might have like a couple of jetties or some infrastructure put in place. I haven't really thought about the potential of having like a optimal layout for your settlement because you have those buildings which work well together. You have those buildings which do not want to have production buildings close to one another and stuff like that. So we're gonna see. And and we're gonna go with the uh, uh, not your professional walkthroughs town. That that's too. Just no. But let's go with NYT we uh or NYP we. Yeah, let's go like this. I'm not even sure if there's two T's in any settlement, but you can make fun of my grammar. <laughs> okay, so let's let's see what we're gonna end up uh, being thrown into, and if I recall just about anything for the game whatsoever. So we have quite a nice starting location here with a largely cleared this out looks like section. A good place to settle. You know what we learned in the end zone. Basic needs come first and foremost. We have to build up a water and food supply, and then... So, uh, I'm gonna pause the game, take a look around. We have a 
a huge amount of salvage all over this place. I'm not even looking for stuff like ruins right now. I'm gonna try to keep an eye out on the overall water management. I'm not sure how much we are gonna push out these series or how large am I gonna even be able to grow this. Like we have one interesting location right over here. It's just gonna take us a while to get there. So what do we have? We have 600 water, 600 food, 200 wood, 200 uh, scrap, 15 tools, 15 radiation protection, and that's about it. We have not that much of a rich food, uh, so we're gonna have to start thinking about certain stuff. We take a look at the radiation, it's all over the place. If we take a look at the soil moisture, okay. I was actually thinking and hoping that we would be able to have like a agricultural section where I'm gonna be able to keep the uh, food production. So for example, between all these lakes, it would be great. And the reason why it looks so weird on the screen is because it's raining and I have the game paused. So once I unpause it, it's actually gonna like freeze rain in midair. Uh, local attractiveness, that's too soon. Electricity is nothing. B building condition too soon and quick access building mode, stuff like that. That's not really important for me right now. So radiation is gonna be kind of important because radiation can really hurt our people from the start. So if we would build a jetty over here, it can have like really bad effects on everything, but we're gonna need to start establishing uh, our people to do things. So we're gonna need some builders. I like to have at least three of them. And we're gonna start by doing what we need is a water tower. And we're gonna then have to upgrade the water tower further. Wells are awesome because these things actually pump out water from below the surface. So we don't have to bother with radiation. And jetties are just like you build this sort of raft or what you call it, or this ramp uh, to go into the water. And this thing uh, allows you to start harvesting the water, but because you can have to, uh, like radioactive rain and, and stuff like that, it's not the safest way to be obtaining water as is. Rain collectors, really unreliable. Um, right now, we don't know what's the contamination because we don't have like a weather station. So I would love to have a water tower for that. We're gonna require resources such as plastic and such. Uh, well is however gonna allow us to produce water without being worried too much. So uh, I would love it if we can actually establish a well. Uh, we have a moist soil, so we should be able to get the water going water tower is going to be eventually able to be constructed once we get certain resources uh, i'm starting to think how do we manage this i will want to have a couple of things so logistics we're gonna build a dirt road which is gonna go like this and like this so that we have some sort of crossroad if you want to have the thicker roads, like two rows or something like that, you can totally do that. I actually do plan on doing just that, just simply because eventually we're going to be required to build the um, electricity poles. And so if we have two rows, we can actually put them on one of them. So it will still leave you with some uh, way to move around people and such okay uh so a couple of things cultivation fields we can go from six till six until 16 till 16. i would really love to keep the food production somehow over here so what i want to focus on right now is trying to get the well and uh i need to start learning how to not press certain keys in order to cancel out the controls or commands and it would be probably beneficial for me to keep this somehow okay i'm not sure yeah let's put this over here we're gonna require one person to be a well keeper so that we can get this and then we can build the water tower right next to it 
Although without the plastic and coal, that might be problematic. So the next thing which I would love to do is uh, set up actually, and I'm gonna do this while the game is paused. Where is this? Command tasks. Gather scrap. So I wanna see if we can actually gather scrap from this place. Uh, do we need to assign people? Uh, the settlers should be able to do this, right? Do you have the necessary workforce? So the next thing which I would love to start doing is make sure that we are building housing for our people. So some cabins. That's going to require wood and scrap. So I'm going to try to build it... I don't know, maybe over here. We're gonna have like a starting position. Eventually I might need to move my lovely people away from here. But for now, we just have to go with what we have and see what's gonna happen. So we already are getting some radiation warning because there is a light radiation over here, but we're just gonna have to put up with it. So let's see what's gonna happen now. Uh, we're gonna have to get the plastic, so water carriers, let's go with three, that's gonna keep us with three people available, and we're gonna need the uh, resources, Recyclers, recyclers are going to be responsible for turning our overall scrap into stuff like metal, cloth, and plastic. So we're gonna get these things and we are gonna require research in order to get into electronics. So let's see what's gonna happen here. It looks like there's literally, what is that? A chicken or what is it? A hen. Okay, so we can theoretically build if we would be successful, uh, we would, however, require uh, da, 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 food. So we would require a hunting lodge, and the hunting lodge would be responsible for capturing the hens so that we can have them in a pasture. Not really sure if it's gonna be effective for us to have hens in a pasture, but for now, we're gonna try to at least clear out certain portion of the land. I'm gonna give ourselves a task. I'm not sure if I can remove radiation. But I wanna gather up a wood over here in order to clear out a uh, sort of a way to this overall uh, place. What happens or how many people can we do or how many people can we? Okay, we are reserve 26. We really don't have that many reserves. Uh, unassigned workforce three, okay. But that's just three people who are capable of doing whatever. We're gonna need to establish production of our tools. Uh, I'm gonna wanna do that a bit further away. Still have quite the moist soil here. So, water, water, water. Well, number two would be nice actually. So I do wonder if there's like an optimal layout for building your town. We're gonna have another well keeper. And I'm gonna probably reduce the number of water carriers right now to two. Uh, scrap pile. I'm not sure why they're unable to... Okay, so this actually will require a scrap yard in order to be salvaged and... So let's move you over here in order to get more scrap because we are at 85. We have 13 tools. It's not really that great. Uh, scrapyard. So the thing about scrapyard is it's able to clear out even a location away from its initial reach. So because it's such a large 
building, though, I'm not sure where I would want to have it constructed. Um, I don't want to have it close to our population. That That's the thing which I'm going for here. If we build it like so, I think this would actually work out. So, uh, theoretically, I can destroy this, demolish this, and once this is constructed, if we have the necessary tools for it, it's, it's gonna help us out. The storage capacity of this building is running low, and we really need to get the plastic and the coal in order to start the, uh, or in order to finish off the water tower. So. For that, we're going to require a couple of things. Uh, decontamination post would be nice. Uh, exploration, no. Electricity, decoration, no. Housing, where is this stuff that we need? Sailor shop, workshop. Workshop would be crucial. We don't have metal yet, so I'm going to need uh, recyclers first. And we can actually build... If we have the resources, we do have the wood. So theoretically, we can build them. This does not really work out because it, the, the spacing is just a tiny bit off, so it's not going to be exactly symmetrical. But I'm, I'm going to have to live with it. Roads are being constructed. Uh, 7248. Theoretically, upgrade even this. I'm gonna assign. Builder is fine. Oh, we can go with four. Scrap collectors. Let's go three here. And the refiner. Like this. And we're gonna have to then select what sort of resource we want. So we're gonna require plastic at first, and we're gonna need the tool shop as well, because we are gonna eventually start running low on those. Is anyone over here, or can I just demolish this? So I think we have gathered all the wood. Uh, we can theoretically tap into additional task. I don't want to, as of yet, go for having Forester. So let's just chop down the trees as we go. We need more people to get housing. So that's exactly what's going to happen here. And if there are shortcuts and I'm not using them, then I do apologize, but I just went over the tutorial as of recently. So I'm not that well versed in the game as of yet. So just please bear with me for now. We're gonna put the task of scrapping everything over here for now. Hopefully the additional houses are gonna help with the homeless situation. Seems like we still have one more. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Low food reserves. Yep. Okay. We're gonna have to do something with low food. Uh, chances are I'm, I'm gonna potentially get everyone killed on the first try here. I, I haven't like played this game extensively. Like, I have done the tutorial and that's about it. Uh, we can do the field over here for now. And we can go with beans. Beans are great for protein. And we can try to assign to people for farming purpose. Uh, okay. I want to actually be getting plastic. And we're going to require... Yeah, we can do 
cloth for now. Auto sieving is gonna happen, so we're gonna let that go. Okay. I really need to do something with food or we are totally screwed. Uh, not sure if I had my priorities correctly set up. Maybe I will have to restart this. Everything is possible. Like, that is the fault of the tutorial. Like, you do the dumbest thing ever, and it rewards you with a crazy amount of resources suddenly. So, uh, you are jumping in rather fast from this point to this point, and um, I'm just not sure if it's adequate then to, like, jump into the game and see yourself survive or you're just gonna simply die out because of unknown reasons. Let's go with two. You are getting plastic. I wanna get the farmers here, but I don't think that's gonna work out for us. So we're gonna require the hunter's hut. I usually like to build the hunter's hut somewhere. Or I can theoretically do the fishing stuff over here, but it's a really small pond of water, which makes me wonder uh, how reliable this is going to become with time. And we're gonna need a decontamination station for the food too. We're gonna need two fishermen. Oh, uh, we are super hungry. We are homeless. We have like 60 things which have gone wrong, which I can totally understand. Let's see if we can get out of this pickle or if I'm totally beyond saving. I did choose the seed. Why is nobody farming here? What happened there? Uh, tools, we are fine. Okay, food has somehow managed to maintain at 17. Uh, don't ask me how. Uh, okay, it seems like 939 something scrapyard is accessible over here, which is just great. Uh, oncoming drought, that's problematic because we have absolutely zero reserves. So I'm not really sure if anyone is going to survive. We have zero food left. So chances are we're gonna pretty much get screwed here. Let's do it. Um, oh yeah, we can do foraging. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I could have foraged for stuff. Uh, are there tasks? Gather all resources, gather plants, gather scrap. No, uh, okay. Let's let's start a brand new game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stuff stuff is gonna happen. I'm quite sure plenty of you would have handled this bit better, but I'm playing this for like second time ever, so I'm not really guaranteed to get it right. I think this is the literally same seed as we just got. Is it not? I think it is. We're gonna go NYPV. Set. We're gonna start a brand new game just because I feel like I got to a point of no return. And I'm gonna try to make some different decisions and see if it's gonna work out or if it's gonna bite me in the tushi once more. Now, this is literally the same exact seed as we had before. This looks like a good place to so, how fun is that? Yep. I think this is exactly the same. They just changed a couple of things. Okay, so what if we were to do task, gather all resources, and how do I expand on this? Or there should be like a way for you to grow how much you want to uh, forage or gather or whatnot. And now, instead of hands, we have the deer. Or doe. Okay, so we're gonna get some plant-based fiber, 100. Uh, there is even food to be gathered here. 
So let's go ahead and select this as our initial task. Maybe this is gonna help us set up for some of these things. We do have the scrap, but we're gonna need more, of course. Uh, I'm gonna probably have to set up more of these. Wait, can I only go with one? Gather all resources. Why can I go with more of them? That's it's kind of problematic to me. I really want to do more of this. Uh, and how many can we assign to this maximum? Four people. And then we can do like four builders. And the. Uh, can start building the road system once again. So I want to make sure that we have that road two tiles thick. And we're gonna have to make sure that we have food. Okay, so what's gonna happen now if we actually let our people start gathering just about anything from here? 121, 45, 160 food. I do wonder how that's gonna affect things. Uh, mostly the reason why my food has gone down is because once we start building housing, uh, what happens is that the people are going to move in and they're going to start to carry in these goods. So we're going to go from 600 something into much lower number rather fast afterwards. I still think we should go with the well. Well, number one, and we need only scrap for that. Well, number two, so we're going to assign two people to be uh, responsible for taking care of the wells. If we have that many people at our disposal, that is. Okay, there's still stuff that can be gathered. And I was thinking food. <laughs> Decontamination is where? In resources? Charcoal kiln. We're gonna need that, of course. Scrapyard is gonna be an amazing addition overall, but I just wanna make sure that this is used up to its full potential. And that we extract all these berries or whatnot, but the decontamination thingy would be amazing. Thing is, I don't really recall where the hell it is kitchen electric water pump we're gonna need stuff for that community campfire pub logistics upgraded warehouse uh decontamination post we're gonna need plastic and charcoal for that so that's gonna be kind of problematic uh, 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 uh. i would love it if we can actually build the blueprint for the water tower somewhere around here but that might cause problems so instead what i might have to do is build something else here like maybe a charcoal kiln it's not that crazy to have it over here uh, we are a bit further away from the housing so hopefully it's not gonna affect that many people that badly we're going to require charcoal in order to start refining or, or doing stuff or just be able to do certain things. There's still some food and stuff to be gathered. We're then going to move this over to, I don't know, to some of these other locations. And I would love it if we can actually scrap these things. But we're going to need the scrap yard in order to get rid of the scrap pile. Uh, okay, charcoal burners. Let's go with two of them. And we should build the fishery. It's gonna work over here. So fisherman two. Let's build the road. And I assume the task has been completed. We 
there's quite a lot of stuff which can be actually gathered here. Like, a lot of food is even in here. So let's go ahead and grab that. We are running low on scrap. So that's going to be like a focus. Do we even have people that can be here? That's my question. Let's take a look. We don't have that many people as of yet. Two people doing this. We're gonna require the recyclers in order to start gathering uh, the resources which we need from stuff that we have access to right now. I just don't think that this is gonna allow me to scrap these things. And there is some scrap over in this location too. Wait, where is that flag? Did I remove it? Did I not remove it? I'm not sure right now. Okay, so we are gonna try to do additional housing. If that's gonna be possible. like to build it for here there is the mountain so it's not really gonna allow us to build more things here so we are getting variety of food from foraging from fishing but we're gonna need the decontamination post and we're gonna require the place to or the scrap yards this is gonna be more proficient it, it reduces the local attractiveness the same goes for the recycler uh, yeah the local attraction uh, just due to having the charcoal kiln over here is killing it for a couple of houses. So we're going to have to do stuff with uh, eventually increasing the overall attractiveness. Uh, seems like we have a homeless person. Let's build two more homes. That should set us up. I uh, don't really have space here for a farm, which sucks. And what I want to do is, uh, 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 yeah, no, I don't feel like that many people are working on gathering what is all here. So, not sure what can I then expect to have as a potential workforce. How many people are unassigned? We have three settlers who are unassigned, but they are working currently here, I am assuming. We're gonna require the tool workshop. But I really feel like first we're gonna need the overall scrapyard. Just need to build it so that it does not negatively affect our people. In the nearest vicinity, we're gonna have access to 300 something something resources. If I were to go and build it as such, this would be better. But it's also in a radiated location, so it's gonna suck. Uh, we're gonna build the road out. To it and the recyclers can be over here so that uh, all these things are close to one another and we have like a production location or something like that so right now we are at least not running low on food which is great thanks to us gathering whatever is in these patches of land there's still some uh, herbs there's still food which can be gathered we're gonna need the forger's hut eventually but I just don't want to have those sort of things so close to here I'm gonna try to build those outwards like I said over here if we would be able to squeeze in our farmland or our uh, what's it called uh, our pastures that would be great because we are between like four bodies of water 
The largest one seems to be probably this one and then we have this large body of water and this is the most large one in our close vicinity uh so we're gonna have to man it somehow theoretically we can do the gatherer's cabin and just keep sending them over here for now it's gonna be probably more proficient than what we are doing as of yet we are running super low on scrap. That's that's the problem. And these scrap piles are not going to help us out. And without the scrap, we're not going to be able to make metal tools and such. So I feel like I have to cancel this order. And I feel like I need to give out a task in order to gather scrap. Hopefully we have someone who's going to be able to do that task specifically. And that should allow us to start dealing with certain stuff. Tools we got, protection we got, medication, it's not important. We do have some coal. We are running lower on water than I would like. But without having access to plastic, I really cannot do... The stupid water tower as of yet. 84, 12 plastic. We do have the coal. We don't have the wood. So we're running low on all the other potential resources. Primarily, I'm um, assuming it's because we are making the charcoal as is. So I'm going to actually um, keep only one person working there for now. Uh, oncoming drought is problematic. Uh, 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 uh. uh. Yeah, we, we have radiation. So we really need to get certain stuff. Like the decontaminations uh, building. I need plastic and wood for that. And the tutorial totally screwed it up because it made it look much easier than it should be. Maybe I will completely fail and have to start all over. Everything is possible, honestly. I can get my people sick because of the contaminated food. So right now... Wait, am I getting? Why am I getting scrap here when we have the scrap yard actually working? That was kind of stupid. Uh, so what I should focus on is trying to gather actually the wood. Okay. And we should focus on the water tower. Still need that plastic. So, resources, recyclers, what do you need? Uh, hopefully we have everything for two of these. Okay, let's, let's cancel it. Uh, this large thing is in our way, so until they are scrapping the electric pole, kind of really align it uh, nicely. So it's just going to have to go like that. We're going to have to go with a plastic production. Once we have the plastic up and running. Uh, where the heck is it? We're going to need six. We're going to need more wood. And then we can start decontaminating our food. Which as of now is radiated. So the fish, uh, not really the best source of just about anything. But it'll have to do for now. Can you chop down this damn tree finally so it's not in there? Uh, refiners and water carrier. These things still require to be constructed. Settlers with no protective clothing. Yeah, we're gonna need a tailor too, but we're gonna require things like cloth, 
and plastic first, so I'm probably causing a whole bunch of problems here by feeding them radioactive food, by not having protection, but I, I cannot just go nuts and start building everything. Because then we're gonna run into some other issues. You know what, I actually think I'm gonna deconstruct this and build it elsewhere so it's further away from our population. And we're just gonna build something else close by. Uh, are you able to get me plastic and you, once you are done, are you able to get me cloth? And decontamination. Uh, we still require plastic. You know what, let's go two for plastic. Uh, we're gonna move you over... Here. Let's, let's gather these trees over here. We need the tower to be constructed. I'm not sure if this has negative effect on farming, but I'm thinking if we go with cultivation field and building build it here by the water we should be fine although it's completely irradiated so I should really check at that yeah it's like gonna be a huge problem for me uh, we have homeless people too again any of our settlers are forced to move across this wasteland unprotected we should boost our protection Okay, we're, I'm gonna try to focus on it, but right now, housing, cabin, bam. And need to assign some farmers. Let's go with two farmers and the field. Is it done? It's not yet done. Uh, we need the plastic and such in order to be finished. And I really need to get the tailor up and running. But for that, we're gonna require a crazy amount of cloth. So, once the plastic has been done, we're gonna need to, uh, after the water tower is done, we're gonna need to switch to uh, cloth production so that we can build the tailor, so that we can start crafting the protection for our people, because it's not that simple. It ain't that simple. I wish it was simpler, but it ain't that simple. The tutorial really does not show you how difficult this is, and I don't want to play it on easy difficulty because I think it uh, would really not make the game fun that much. I mean, I have done games like Planet Bays and all sorts of other stuff on the channel already. Uh, sure, let's go with beans. We're gonna choose the seed. Hopefully, we're gonna start doing whatever is necessary with the crops and we're gonna switch the processing uh, we need to upgrade this somehow or is it already at the upgraded version where it starts to use up the charcoal uh, we need to switch to the cloth production now and you still have some scrap that can be gathered, which is great. Let's gather the wood. Uh, decontamination. Uh, decontamination. Yeah, we can afford it. So I actually want to get this thing done. Because we have our crops and everything else, like our fish and such, everything is contaminated, so I'm really hoping we're gonna be able to fix it. We don't have enough wood. We're starting to run low on resources as well, so that's something which I need to press too. Decontaminators, let's go with two of them. We have one settler. Uh, so we're gonna need resources workshop.
Let's make it happen. Let's make it snappy. Are we able to start storing water? Uh, yeah, we have two wells. We're gonna need to increase our water carriers. We have zero technicians though, so that's a problem. I have to go like this and we're gonna go with one technician. And once this is done, damn it, we don't have metal. Uh, we need metal. Okay, starting to go down. We need more protection, we need more housing. I don't have the stuff which we need right now. So I'm, I'm not sure what you want from me, people. I'm trying literally as we go. Drought is gonna be problematic, but soon we're gonna have rain again. Uh, water is somehow managed. We're gonna need more of these wells, that's for sure. Uh, so what do we need? What do we need? We need this. We need metal. 12 pieces of it, exactly. Then we're gonna need the tailor shop. Uh, we don't have the cloth for that too, so I'm totally screwed. Unless I build more recyclers. What irks me is the fact that this is not symmetrical. I need to build it either further away or I'm not really sure how I'm gonna mess around with this. We're just gonna need more of these stations to supply us with the necessary goods. Taylor shop build, yeah, I'm, I'm working on these things. Uh, Taylor shop, Taylor shop. We need cloth, we need God knows what else. We need people. And a school would be nice as well. In order for our kids to not be completely dumb. We're starting to run low on food here. That's kind of uh, scary. Also, the problem is during the period of drought, what's gonna happen is that you really cannot forage for anything. Uh, so, if I would go with task and gather all resources, you can see that there's no food for me to gather because we need first rain. And only after that we can rely upon food to be gathered from God knows where. Uh, food. Gatherer's cabin. Or we can theoretically do the hunter's lodge here. Not sure though if enough game keeps showing up here. It's a bit further away from our housing, so that's beneficial. Actually, this works out because it seems to be perfectly the size of the side of this place. Okay, we're gonna need to move you fellas to start gathering junk. So let's do that. Uh, we are starting to run low on food again, but the farm should hopefully pay off soon and hopefully even the fishing is gonna kick in and then we're gonna have the hunting we cannot yet start to like capture animals so i'm gonna try to make sure we are gonna be able to hunt them uh health is somehow holding on i want to actually get the metal tools So please stop making scrap tools and start making metal tools if we can. Uh, we need more of these refiners. And what I'm gonna need is metal. Metal. Me metal. Uh, you know what? Metal. Let's do two metal. Let's do one cloth. One, let's do one plastic. We're gonna need to get that protection up and running. 
we have no tools to work with. We have no houses for people. Uh, this would be nice to build. As a solution to our current conundrum. So we are actively filtrating the water. Although these two sources of water... Should not really be affected by it. I'm not sure if it's uh, the fact that they're close to one another that it's reduced proficiency. Uh, let's try to get two technicians in. Let's try to get two hunters at least. And... Okay, it seems like the animals are in this region, so we're gonna be sending them off over there. Unless we have something closer. We have something closer. We're gonna be sending them over here. It shows us how much food can we count on. We have five chickens, four deer, that's 680 food. Uh, we have... 880 food, that's better. I'm gonna go and send them over there. Let's give you three hunters. But we need the protection. And we need cloth for that. We need uh, charcoal and cloth. Uh, we need cloth, charcoal, and plastic. We don't have really cloth right now. We're constantly running into some sort of bottleneck, food-wise and everything else-wise. Without the tools, we're not able to work proficiently. Without the tools, we aren't able to uh, gather resources. If I'm like low on wood and such, I'm not sure how they're going to be able to gather them. Have two tailors in, but I don't know if you have the necessary resources to do anything. Cloth and charcoal don't have those. I'm gonna have to switch probably one of these productions to go into cloth. So we have two cloth productions, one metal, and I'm not sure how long is it gonna take to get the metal stuff or metal tools. We're gonna have to start producing there for the scrap tools if you are able to have at least any type of tool whatsoever. It's better than nothing. We're gonna then eventually switch it up to the different variant. Because I don't know if they use the tools in order to scrap all this. I, I can uh, understand that they need tools in order to chop down trees or to cultivate a field of crops. We're gonna need wire cloth for quite a lot of stuff. You know what, let's do this. Let's do, you do then metal and you do the plastic. These two are responsible for cloth. These two are responsible for the other stuff. And it's a big shame that you have to go back over here and then back over here in order to actually start processing whatever it is that you need. But I'm assuming that's why it's important to have the logistics put in place so that the road allows you to travel a bit faster. Are you fellas able to capture anything here? We are starting to run rather low on food yet again. Uh, I'm not sure when the beans are going to be done planting crop yield 200 something out of 405 food. It's a shame that you cannot even expand further your farm. Like, I would be able to fill in probably even more space with this farm here, but uh, I'm just hoping that they're gonna be able to produce anything. Anything whatsoever. Uh, we're gonna have a safe soon, that's fine. We need the housing for all these people, so I'm hoping that this is gonna actually work out. Uh, 15 homeless people, we have quite a lot of people who require protection. So getting another tailor up and running would be great. But why am I lacking the cloth still? Is there some sort of priority on this or am I missing something? We are starting to lo run low on water. 
I'm not sure if we need the jetty. Uh, probably sure. We are still uh, trying to filter the water. So I'm guessing why not? Now the key is the protection because the health is not going well. We're gonna need to assign more people to be water carriers therefore. And... Irrigators? No, not really. I'm not sure how many people can work on jetty or if it's just people are, who are the water carriers are gonna do this. So because we have a drought uh, coming in, it would be better if we can uh, save up more stuff. Uh, this has been built, so that's awesome. Um, um, probably that has resolved our issue with that. We're able to now start producing some of this other stuff. Uh, what is this? Low water reserves, low food reserves. Yeah, I see that. But you are just gathering like 400 something food of uh, beans. How is that possible that we are once again low on everything? Uh, we're gonna need that gathering hut. Uh, I'm not sure if Orchard is gonna fix my problems right now. Oh, we can build another field over here. Uh, let's demolish this. And if we choose beans again... And just assign more people to be farmers. More builders. I would kill to have more proficient way to recycle these things at the start. Uh, what is this? Production is reached. Oh, we get we. I want to store more stuff. Let's store more stuff. You guys are falling behind, seriously. Uh, let's go 200, 200, 200, and 200. And we are gonna require charcoal. But the problem is we are either low on uh, wood or low on anything else. So I'm gonna have to stop chopping down trees like a dumbass this way. And we're gonna have to establish. I just don't want to do it over here because this is where I want to do the agriculture. So I need to establish a place for our wood production. And where the hell will I do that? Resources. Forester's Lodge. So theoretically, we can... We can do the Forester's Lodge or build the Forester's Lodge here. But what is going to happen is that we're just going to assign them to, like, handle this portion of the land or something. Uh, I can theoretically build it over in here. And then have the charcoal kiln produce over here. We're gonna build the road. I can understand that this is quite far, but I feel like it needs to be done. Uh, we're gonna go with four foresters. And we're gonna go with three charcoal burners. Because, uh, yeah, we, we without the charcoal, we are now screwed. We cannot filter water, really. We, we cannot uh, filter or... Um, decontaminate the food that we are gathering so 
our health can go dramatically down. And I hate the fact that we are constantly running low on food. What the hell is up with that? Uh, food, gatherers, huts, look at all this food. So yeah, once the drought comes in, uh, the gatherer's hut is not really a reliable resource. Uh, activate carbon mask produced. Yeah, we, we cannot... Without the resources that we need, we really cannot do that right now. We can try to upgrade the uh, central hub building. I'm not really sure what's going to be the benefit of that. It would be great if we can get a school. And it would be great if we can get some food. Uh, we can do more fishermen. We can do more farmers. We have decent water reserve. We are kind of screwed when it comes to water. Our tools. Are you able to now switch finally to the metal production? Should be able to. Uh, food produced. Okay. So we got a reward in food. So that saved me. But we need to produce these masks in order to get masks, but we first need the charcoal to be working. Okay, into the wild achievement there. Or part of the achievement. Okay, the food is going up ever since we constructed this thing. Or is it constructed yet? It has this weird icon over it, so yeah, it's still not even constructed. Still requires scrap and some stuff, but we should be a okay. Okay, where? How are we constantly running out of these things? Is it that they immediately take it, or what's the situation here? Let's try to make these carbon masks. We do have the cloth. We we had the charcoal. Not really sure what happened there. It's probably all these buildings that require it, such as the water tower, the contamination center, and everything else in between our food production is slightly going up reserves are super low and that's bad because especially during the drought the fact that these two cannot be like connected to one another i would have to delete the two farms and build this one long farm but this way we might have some difference in the uh, harvests and such, so... Now what the hell? It will be uh, moved away over here, like I really want to eventually get like an agriculture sec sector. Uh, unhappy. Yeah. We really need to do like a school or something. Decorations. I don't know. Electricity that's years away. Pub would be nice. But that might require some stuff. Uh, produces beer, liquor, or joints that can be consumed by settlers to boost their confidence. Their confidence is uh, at a medium level. So yeah, probably having a pub would be nice. And the funniest thing is it actually fits in right over here. So why the hell not? Uh, we don't have enough people though to be pub keepers. So we're going to take away from the water carriers. We are quite decently stocked up on water. Although right now we are reaching the drought. So everything is going to go super dry. A 
achieve there are more and more of us settlers lately if our population fi figures continue to rise so rapidly it might lead to supply bottlenecks we can control the population growth a bit by housing more settlers in shelters or via forum yep uh can do one more shelter theoretically i'm kind of worried what it's gonna do to our overall food situation the drought is gonna affect also the gatherers hut how's the hunting for food going yeah that's still going pretty decently I can't really do any fishing right now without the delay. That makes sense. You guys are still gathering this stuff. I'm not sure if having more charcoal burners would do just about anything. We are super low on wood. Many of our settlers are getting older and older, Sheev. A lot of them think the time has come again to provide the offspring. Okay, we're gonna need more housing. Ah, this is gonna be tricky to squeeze it in here somehow. Let's see what, like, no, theoretically, let's, uh, let's do those uh, roads thicker so we can then build those uh poles in between so that we have eventually uh juice running over here hard liquor that's produced from berries this is produced from hops this is produced from wheat and water a nut yeah we we need uh an orchard in order for this to work so we're gonna remove workforce from here. We're gonna have to plant an orchard. Like I'm gonna have to literally clear out this entire section of all the resources so that I can start doing the farming here. Right now I'm kind of worried what's gonna happen if I build these three houses. It's gonna affect our overall food situation as it's already suffering as is. Due to the drought, we cannot really gather anything over here. Don't have the wood. Although you should be able to gather the wood. Able to start building up reserves of everything else. Uh, a school would be nice. It's probably not the best thing to have it here then. Uh, let's disassemble this for now. Uh, housing, uh, community, school, school. Let, let's do a school. School is gonna do benefits for us. We're gonna have to assign some teachers. We have built some additional housing. No missions are currently available. And, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna leave it at this point right now. Uh, the settlement is slowly crawling out of uh, starvation. Maybe by the next episode, everyone's gonna be dead. Uh, everything is possible. But like I said, I, I just picked up the game. It seems like a lot of fun. I also have an idea for the comparison series for this game and one more. So I will require some footage and some experience in order to formulate a actual objective opinion to be able to determine which game might be better and we're gonna see how that's gonna work out so if you did like this one give it a big thumbs up helps a lot with the algorithm if you have any advice for me please leave it in the comment section that is what it is there for and i'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day and hopefully i will see you all at the next one thank you for watching everyone in the meantime stay safe out there and bye bye for now ah <sighs> Seriously, need to do something with this food situation. It's really possible everyone might die before I'm able to fix this. <laughs>